What's up, everyone? Uh, so the Miata's behind me. A couple updates. Uh, just had Jacob come over uh, yesterday, and he came over to uh, to look at the car, uh, look at all the parts we have. Um, we got some some goodies from Ace Race Parts. Bunch of V-bands, bunch of replacement uh, turbo inlet and outlet flanges. Same thing with the uh, wastegate inlet and outlet flanges. I got some. Schedule 40, um, two and a half inch piping, which we might or may not use. And then in here we have the Vibrant Ultra Quiet. So that's super cool. One of the things we talked about was uh, the exhaust and overall timeline and all that. So um, probably in the next week or two, he's gonna get the car, or I'm gonna take the car over there and we'll get the, uh, the manifold made up. That's relatively easy for him, um, but he needs a lift in order to do the exhaust the way that he wants. So that might take a little longer, but at least the turbo manifold um, will start. One of the big things though that we talked about was what we're gonna do with the exhaust. So we thought about just using this factory uh, location here. Um, and then long story short, we thought dual three inch exhaust sticking out right in the center through the bumper would look pretty cool, especially with a nice custom trim ring. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. So yesterday, while I was working in the garage, I decided I'm gonna take the uh, that rear foam crash bar, which you probably already saw on the on the ground over there. Decided to take that out so we have a nice clear shot. It's a little dark, but nice clear shot right here to our bumper. And then I got to thinking, you know, before I take it over to him, how about I try painting these bumpers? Um, so that's what we're going to do today. This car is probably going to get wrapped or repainted fully sometime later. I wanted to wrap the car this off season. I wasn't expecting to do a full turbo manifold and exhaust. They're probably about the same in price overall. So I'm going to do the cheaper option, which is going to be painting. So I'll show you what I got. And this video is basically going to be me trying to uh, salvage these, these bumpers front and rear. And then also that plastic uh, license plate frame. It's the same story back here. Very faded, a lot of paint missing. This uh, panel back here, I hope will come back um, relatively quick, but we're gonna try giving it a paint job after I do the bumpers. So I also got enough to where I could do some touch up around here from when we installed the wing and all that good stuff. So let me show you what we got. So because down here, some of this paint is starting to chip off, I need to sand this. So I got 320. The paint recommends uh, a final step of 600 before painting. And then I got uh, Duplicolor BGM 0398 Bright Red. So this is a replacement for GM Bright Red. Um, I did some research and apparently it's a very, very, very close match to the Mazda Classic Red. So that's what we're gonna try doing here. I'm gonna set up the camera, take off these bumpers front and rear, and we'll just start going from there. So I just did uh, a full full coat of uh, 320 sandpaper over all the surfaces. There's a couple small things, like small imperfections, might have been like uh, contaminants or whatnot, that I got sanded out. A couple bigger bumps, like down here, uh, looks like this car backed into something at some point. Small potatoes. I don't think this thing needs to be perfect, but now I'm going to go ahead and swap over to uh, 600 grit and do that. Um, and then wipe it down with some uh, Dawn and water and then wipe it down with some alcohol and we'll be good to go. So I just wiped it down with some hot water and Dawn uh, and you can see, looks like it's turning out pretty good. Pretty easy or pretty uniform coverage on the sandpaper. Anyway, right now I'm gonna let this water flash off, this uh, Dawn and, and water flash off fully. And then I have some uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'll wipe it down really nice. And then uh, 
when Abby heads out for work, we'll slide this over and we'll be ready to paint. Got the BMW moved out of here. Got a small little space heater, just trying to get some uh, temp in here. It's probably about 60 degrees in here right now, but I am trying to get the best results I possibly can for such a budget. So we're gonna try getting the area in, in here uh, a little bit closer to 70 degrees or so. Um, I'm gonna let it warm up for probably another 10 minutes or so, chill out, listen to some music, maybe make myself a drink, and then we'll start spraying some paint. Excited. One, two, So as you can see there, the first nozzle, for whatever reason, just splattered everywhere. Anyway, I got one good coat on, first light coat. I'm gonna basically start a 10 minute timer, let this dry, uh, tack up, and then we'll start doing uh, coat two. So far, it looks actually pretty good. Looks like it'll be a good match, uh, especially once um, it dries a little bit. We got coat two down. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, just finished off that first can of paint, so I am gonna have to do or order some more paint for that front bumper, which isn't that big of a deal. But I, I am honestly um, shocked at how this looks. It looks pretty good. Um, I hope that it lays down uh, or it kind of settles down right now. It does look a little splotchy, but I'm gonna do one more coat with the uh, other can that I have, and then uh, we'll do some clear. So, another 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. Going for coat three. time for whatever reason this can doesn't seem to have a ball inside of it so uh, I'm gonna shake it a little bit extra but here we go all right so we got all the paint on and honestly it looks really good uh, well I say really good that's uh, based off what it was before and all we have into it so anyway, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit longer and then uh, I'll put it back on tonight and call it good. And then I'll probably start pulling off this bumper and prepping it, but the paint won't be in towards, or until middle of the week. Uh, so we might not do that this week. The front bumper is the one that needs it the most for sure. But now after doing some practice on, on that bumper, I, I feel a lot more confident in the front bumper. Um, some learnings that we uh, we had on this one. Um, you can kind of see how it's a little splotchy um, on the coating. That was all from the first two coats. Um, I talked to one of my buddies and he basically told me I was too far away and not doing a heavy enough uh, coat. And it makes perfect sense because on the third coat, I really made it heavy um, and it turned out way better. Like it smoothed out a lot better than what it was before. So. Anyway, that's gonna cut it out for this video probably. Um, you already saw, or you know how to take off the bumper. You might as well just do it in reverse and get it in forward. So anyway, I'll, uh, the next clip be, be that bumper on the car and then hopefully it has a good color match. Thanks guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. I, I think uh, a couple of these videos on the new channel are really gonna pop off. So thank you guys.
finished up. This is the day after. Uh, I'll put in a picture of it in natural sunlight because these lights definitely make it look like it stands out a little bit more than it actually does. But I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it definitely looks good from, you know, 10, 20 feet. And that's what the goal was. So finished product, pretty happy with it. Definitely looks better, all solid one color. Uh, so now it's just a waiting game, waiting for those three extra cans of paint. Got to do the front bumper. I'll tear that down here probably in the next day or two. And then I got to do uh, this rear finish panel on the back. Uh, again, pretty simple. Uh, the front bumper, I want to do quite a bit of um, sanding uh, just because there is some of that paint that's peeling off. So I want to make sure that I get the stuff that's already going to peel off, but keep enough base coat where it's uh, all good. So that's the update. Sounds good. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.